In this video I want to show you a nice tip on how to add detail to your terrains. It's very very simple to do. If you don't want to paint stuff on your terrains using this and um, if you just want to experiment with uh, how, where to put detail this is a really nice trick. But um, before I show you I want to show you something I've done in a previous project. I'm just going to open the one we did before this one. So uh, there's a technique I've used in this in this scene if I let's just frame up on it um, so I've added planes in this scene I've put transparent textures on there um, and this is a really good way of adding detail to your scenes it's very simple to do what I like to do guys I like building out the scene first like the building blocks of the scene and then adding detail later on so how I do this I make planes and you know get put detail in so if I go back to um, the projects we were just on with the terrain uh, let's go into this. So if we frame up, uh, as you can see, this is not possible because our terrain is not flat and the plane is flat. And um, if we put a plane of detail on this terrain, it will just be floating in the air, and it just won't look good. So how do we overcome this? Well, what I do, guys, I instead of creating a plane, I create cloth. So if we put a bit of cloth in this scene, and frame up on it I'm gonna put it here for example so if I play the game now instead of the cloth just floating um, there's gravity on it so it flows floats down and as you can see it adapts to the shape of the terrain so but as you can see it looks a bit dodgy there's shadows um, it looks like it's floating above the terrain so we can overcome these problems um, firstly I added I got a texture before this video it's called blanket it's just an old blanket texture so if I put it on there, do that first. So um, as you can see, inter interactive cloth has got a bunch of stuff we can edit. So for this, we can put the thickness right down, but we don't want it to be too low because um, say if I go to 0 0.01 and play the game, it looks like it's falling through the terrain because it's so thin. So I experimented with this. The best one to do is what, what point 0.15 in this case. I mean it might be different if there's some really steep areas you want to add detail to but um, it looks a lot better and another thing we can do is um, get rid of the, the shadows so I don't want it to receive sorry guys I don't want it to cast shadows not receive um, so if I play the game again boom there we go it looks a lot nicer now it looks like it's stuck to the floor and a uh, really nice way to add detail to your scene so as you can see it's moving a little bit, it's, it's still got physics and gravity going on so we could make a script for this after two seconds we could cancel out the gravity and cancel out the physics and stuff and uh, it will save CPU so as a side note guys if I go into my profiler, play the game wait for the uh, cloth to fall um, go into the profiler uh, there's a lot of CPU usage in the beginning but it drops straight away as you can see and this uses is probably the terrain being built and stuff so um, it it's not doesn't take that much overhead in Unity, so I don't want to go into scripts in this video and show you how to cancel out the gravity and stuff. But this is the main technique. Uh, it's you can add transparent textures onto this plane if you wanted to, and it's a really nice way of adding more detail to your terrain. So once you've built out your scene and you think, well, it doesn't look that good, I want to add more detail to it. This is a technique to do. So. Um, that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.